Hi everyone, welcome to a quick introduction to Omniscope and how to set it up to work with Scratch and all other Simulate tools. Omniscope by Time and Pixels is a new image analyzer application which runs on both macOS and Windows. It captures the video signal either via screen capture, SDI input, or it can be tied into Scratch directly on the same machine. Here's how to do that. When installing Omniscope, the Assimilate plugin will get installed automatically on Windows. Under macOS, start Omniscope once and head over to the Options drop-down and select Install Plugins. After that, start Scratch and go to the System Settings to configure your SDI devices. Omniscope is seen as a virtual SDI card that Scratch sends its signal to. Enable it up here and make sure you also enable the output channel down here. I'll set the format to HD resolution, Rec. 709 full range. That's basically it. If I now enter my project, go to Color Fix, Settings, and to the Monitor menu, I can see Omniscope here in the list of output devices. I can tell Scratch in what color space I want to send the video to Omniscope. This can make sense if I'm for instance working in ACES, but I want to send Rec. 709 to Omniscope to analyze. For now, I'll leave it to Source same as my UI display, so I can make sure that the signal that's analyzed by Omniscope is the same that I'm watching here in my viewport on my UI monitor. Let's hit play and start Omniscope on the second monitor attached to the system. The first thing it asks is what kind of input I want to connect. I'll choose a Simulate Scratch. Note that Omniscope also works the exact same way with Play Pro for QC, as well as Live Looks and Live Assist for live camera signals. Next, I'm being asked what my first scope should be. Let's choose the source signal for starters. I can freely position and scale this window, or have it snap in a certain way, like such, or such. Let's add a waveform window in here. You can do that through the menu up here, or by right-clicking into empty space. Let's position the waveform down here. Now there are global settings which you can access here where Omniscope allows you to tell it if you want it to auto-connect to a specific source upon startup. Also you can enable Stream Deck support, define the source signal in case it can't auto-detect it and also choose what your scales should read. For instance, PQ ST2084 if you are grading HDR content. One important setting down here on the performance settings is the global downsample option. Setting these to lower than 100% helps if you're running Omniscope on a very low-end system. That being said, Omniscope is very moderate in the usage of system resources, so I'll leave it at 100%. Now each and every scope has its own settings, accessible via right-click into the corresponding scope. The waveform I can set to just luminance mode and enable the colorize option. Looks pretty awesome. I can of course also add a second waveform and set it to YRGB Parade. Now I have both. But Omniscope has more than just waveforms. I can for instance add a vector scope. And even split it into shadows, midtones and highlights. Or a histogram, which I can conveniently display vertically and position over here. And of course, we also can display the other usual suspects like CIE plot diagram, false color overlay, a 3D color cube to show the color volume and also a timecode window and audio meter. Every scope can be modified in even greater detail if you go to the settings inside the right-click menu of each scope. Here you can override the global downsample for a specific scope or change other parameters. Now that we have our layout set up, we can store it. We can put the app into full screen mode and by pressing tab, clean the view and are now ready to use it. If I want to focus on a certain region of interest, I can just draw a mask in the source signal viewer and the scopes now just analyze and show the content of that region. The other way around, I can also select a range inside the histogram and the signal viewer shows me what I have selected there. 
and if I'm interested in one particular scope, I can at any time solo it through the right click menu or a button on my Stream Deck. Which, by the way, I can also use to quickly cycle through different layouts that I might have stored. So now that we have set up our 5 awesome looking scopes of choice, what latencies are we facing? Well, none really. Let me zoom out and show you both of my monitors side by side. Now let's dial in a very noticeable grade. Add some contrast, do some lift gamma gain, saturation, okay. If I disable it, you can see the scopes on the right side instantly follow. The delay between scratch and omniscope is close to non-existent. That's it for this video. If you want to try Omniscope with Scratch, go to timeandpixels.com and grab a free trial. See you soon. Bye.